So these are 10 questions that engineers use to define their ideal girlfriend. And these are questions that we literally ask our paid customers. And therefore, I hope you, that you enjoy seeing how we think about it. Now, uh, this is inspired by the fact that I talk to a lot of engineers and many of them don't even like know what type of partner they're looking for. They're like, well, someone is like, I don't know, 25 to 29 and is female. And it's like, okay, but like, what, what else is there? Is that, is she introverted, extroverted, pragmatic? What, what type of careers would you like her to be into? And what type of life goals would you like her to share? Things like that. From this video, you will learn what questions to ask yourself to define an ideal partner avatar. And I will share a list of actionable steps that you can take today to meet that ideal partner. And lastly, as a little sneak peek, I will share the list of traits that I wrote down when I was looking for an ideal partner. If you're new to the, to the channel, my name is Elia Kanu. I grew up as an introvert with acne, getting bullied and with major social anxiety. Since 2019, I've been helping engineers with their dating lives, with cold approaching and with online dating. And alongside my girlfriend Nella, who is a former model, we help engineers find long-term partners to start a family with. The 80-20 rule of finding a partner to start a family is knowing who you're looking for. <laughs> Because you might date a bunch and you might actually be pretty good at it. But if you don't know what you're looking for, you're like, why is it that I cannot meet anyone that is interesting and that I want to spend more time with? Well, maybe you're looking the wrong places. Before I met my girlfriend, I had a list of things that I was looking for in a partner. And if you're curious about that list, here it is. I wrote this Notion page on January 6, 2023. And literally one month and about one week after... I met my girlfriend, which is crazy, crazy, because I never had a list like this before, never. And so these are the traits that I found important for myself. So many engineers do not even know what an ideal partner to them actually looks like. And so here are 10 questions that you can ask right now to find what that looks like for you. And if you don't want to go question by question, I'm just going to like go over them right now in the next part of the video. You can just skip the video all the way till the end, which is where I show a whole list of questions and you can just answer them for yourself without having to go through the whole video. Life goals. Share your thoughts on family planning, marriage, career ambitions, preferred living locations and other life goals. How important is that your partner shares these goals? You're, you're kind of like setting the stage. What does an ideal partner's goals look like? And how important that is that the partner shares these goals with me? What is your preferred timeline for starting a family? Specify how many years you want to spend in a relationship before having kids and the desired age range of your ideal partner. So this is a question that is more related to what does the future look like? Many engineers that I talk with want to start a family. That's the only type of people we accept in the program. And that's because we are uh, impact driven. And what I see is that they generally have a pretty good idea about how long they want to uh, be in a relationship before actually, you know, starting a family, having kids and things like that. But they don't account that before we start, we jump on a call together. And so they might target people that are a wrong, the wrong age for them. So if you want to start a family in four years, for example, due to female biological limitations, we recommend that you target a partner that is at most 28 years old, around 30, 32 is when the, the, the ability to uh, have kids for females goes down and therefore you want to plan ahead so that you don't, go, you don't get caught in a situation when you have spent a long time with a partner but they're not capable of having kids anymore. This, this kind of important things that most people don't really think about. And then physical preferences. Pretty obvious, pretty straightforward. Describe the, what type of pre phys physical preferences would you like in a partner and uh, reflect what you appreciate in past partners and what you didn't. This was something that was actually very important for me. For some reason, I'm very, I care about those things a bunch and I'm sure I'm not the only one, but uh, yeah, finding a partner that fits a specific look uh, is uh, I think a big indicator of whether something's gonna go for long-term or not. And then if you'd like me to help you personally and you're an engineer, then consider booking a call with me. Uh, we focus specifically on you guys and uh, we want to help you find long-term partners that you can start a family with. 
And we have a few slots open. And so if this is you, then consider booking a call as soon as possible because the moment that those slots fill, the price goes up. What personality traits do you prefer in a partner? This is around figuring out, do you want someone who's introverted, extroverted, analytical, creative, pragmatic, free, like a free spirit? Reflecting on past partners, as with other things, maybe may provide some useful context in identifying what these preferences are. And then the next point is around geographical location. What specific areas do you believe your ideal partner is most likely to reside? So for example, if you are into a very specific type of persona, say you're into someone that is more creative, in Los Angeles, you would probably want to go to the arts district in downtown LA, or you would want to go to like slightly north of downtown LA. I think there is an area that's for artistic people. I don't remember the name. If you are into more people that are, say, like social people and people that have like status, then you will go to West Hollywood or you will go to Beverly Hills. Just like that, it, that, that is the type of detail that you want to think in terms of meeting an ideal partner. And whether you're doing cold approaching, you're talking to people during the day or during the night, or whether you're doing online dating or whether you're doing ads, then you still want to focus the attention to the specific locations that you think your ideal partner would go to. And then lifestyle habits. What type of lifestyle habits do they have? Uh, are they into fitness or into dieting? Or w what are their smoking and drinking preferences? Uh, and how important is that your partner shares these habits with you? This is something important to define. For example, Nella is vegetarian. I'm also vegetarian. And so in that way, we are a perfect fit. And the moment I knew it, I was like, huh, cool. Like th this could really go somewhere. List any traits or habits that you consider deal breakers. And so in this case, it's often about like things like drinking and smoking. I know a tester of ours that is like pretty against that. And therefore one, one of his deal breakers is that a person smokes or drinks or like spends a lot of time out into clubs, nightclubs and things like that. And so you would want to have a clear idea of that so that you can qualify whenever you do meet someone and you can make sure that they're not the wrong type of person for you. And then what qualities or factors are particularly appealing to you? And so this can be deal makers. And so, for example, I know another tester that is uh, into nurses. You know, there you go, you know, and, and these are the type of partners he was with in the past. And so he knows that he's attracted to that specific profession. And so that's useful, you know, all of a sudden you can clarify your search by being aware of that. And then what level of education do you find most appealing in a partner? And are there specific industries or careers that you find attractive? And this is, you know, pretty close to uh, what I talked about earlier. Uh, level of education for some people is more important, for some people it's less important, but you know, uh, something that you probably want to think about. And then your political, political, religious and ethical beliefs. And how important is that your partner shares these similar views? You know, if you are in a religion that doesn't accept certain behaviors and certain habits, then you would want, probably want to consider that uh, when it comes to finding a partner uh, so that you could avoid fundamentally wasting everyone's time, your time and their time. And so as promised, these are all the questions into one slide. Well, these are six questions and then you can see these other, the, the remaining questions into the second slide. Fun fact, this presentation is actually 11 questions, not 10. So you get an extra one. Uh, so you're welcome. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. And uh, if you are an engineer and you're looking for an ideal partner that you want to start a family with, then Hit us up and we'll talk. Ciao.